Before my stroke, I was studying for my HSC. They estimated I would get above 95. Two weeks after the trials, I just blitzed the trials, by the way. I just forgot my golden study method. And then eventually it came down to this one day where I woke up in the morning and I'm like, all right, we're going to study today and just get all this information in. Finally, after about three or four hours, I took a rest. And then I went to the chin-up bar. I did a couple of pull-ups. And then when I came down, it hit me. I got this massive headache. It was just pounding, exploding. It's like almost my head was ex expanding. And then I eventually came to the conclusion that it was just a normal headache and I could sleep it off. And then after half an hour, I tried to get up to do more study. And then I realized I couldn't get up because my whole left side was dead. And my mom came home at around five o'clock. And then, because she did a first aid course, she identified the signs of stroke and then I was rushed to the hospital. They had to perform um, life-threatening surgery on me, take out part of my skull to drain the fluid. Because it's almost like a balloon. There was nothing there. I could squeeze here and it was all soft. I went to the RCU and then I was transferred back to the rehab ward and I think that's where it really hit me, thinking how am I going to achieve my goals? How am I going to do this? How am I going to recover from this? Until I realised that, hey, I don't have to feel this way. This is when there was a click in my brain. It was almost an inner voice which told me, why don't we take a couple of steps back and see what we can do to get you walking again. I was given this home program for my arm and my mum went through it every day with me. We did like thousands of repetitions for arm exercises. It's not the support of your friends or your family. At the end, it's all about your mindset. And the way I view it is like a painting. And before your stroke, you've got a very detailed painting. It's a self-portrait of yourself. You know what your identity is. You know what goals you want to achieve in life. And then when the stroke happens, some guy comes over with a white paintbrush and just paints all over your portrait. You kind of remember what your old portrait looked like, but it's time to paint a new portrait. For stroke recovery, at the beginning, you're going to be painting big broad strokes and what these resemble are the first steps you take towards your recovery. And then as I got better, you use a different paintbrush, more detailed brushes. And, then the, and, and what these resemble are milestones in your recovery until you get to a point where you've got a new self-portrait and what this resembles is the ultimate goal, which is recovery. Because now you've got a new version of yourself probably one which is better than the old one.